All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, what I'm going to do is give you my first impressions of the new season, Season of the Chosen, and this is Season 13 inside Destiny 2. I have played for one full day now. I've played for a little over 12 hours. I've gotten pretty high in power, as you can see here, I'm at 1289, so not doing too bad. And uh, I've got a good taste of it. Obviously, first impressions are what they are, and Bungie's content method is a drip feed method. So basically content is going to come out throughout the season, week after week after week. And so basically judging everything on the first week or first day is obviously not the best, but I want to give you my impression if you think that this season is good enough to draw you back in. So the first thing I will go over is what I believe to be the most important thing, which is there's a lot of new weapons inside this season. And not just new weapons for the sake of new weapons or reprised weapons that are Kind of you know reworks of old weapons that aren't interesting there's a lot of new interesting weapons uh the messenger is a reprised weapon but it does have that new perk on it um not the new perk but uh the perk from the redrix broadsword on it time worn spire has come back it's got some interesting perks on it all these weapons have newer perks on them which is exciting uh extraordinary rendition this is an iron banner smg looks really promising shadow price you can get from strikes um, i've been grinding all day i have not got salvagers salvo yet that's got some really good perks for PvE. A lot of people were worried about this being a new Mountaintop 2.0. It's not going to be that at all. Bottom Dollar is a crazy hand cannon. You can get Gambit. Uh, Igneous Hammer is going to be an amazing hand cannon. It's going to be so good. And it only comes from Trials. And you can get an Adept version. I mean, Bungie could not have done Trials any better. I love you for this one, Bungie. This is such a good decision. A 120 RPM, amazing hand cannon. Ah, oh, couldn't do it. Couldn't be any happier about that. Uh, obviously, Trials and the lack of anti-cheat will still be a big problem. Trials will still have some issues, 3-peaking, etc. But at least the loot will be there, so hopefully the player base will be a little bit healthier throughout this entire season. So if you like Trials like I do, this is definitely going to be a good season. All right, The Palindrome, I went to grind for this a bunch too. I couldn't get one to drop, but I love the tier system, the way it's worked out. Um, essentially, if you go through here, I'll go to the destinations. You can go through the Nightfall playlist. And it says right here that you get Nightfall Weapon Uncommon, Common, and Common. So you can uh, get a higher chance of getting it. And this one apparently gives Ascendant Shard. So this would be, I guess, your highest chance of getting the Palindrome this week or the Odd Rifle. Um, I'm getting a lot of Odd Rifles. A lot of friends are getting Odd Rifles. I have not gotten a Palindrome yet. I'm hoping to get one. Now, obviously, an Adept version will come out later through the Grand Master activity. And that will be nice to have that option and get the Adept Palindrome. But until then, you know. You can farm and get a palindrome as well. This new replayable activity, Battlegrounds, you can see here I've done uh, six out of nine of these, so I've had a good taste of this. I quite like it. I think it's an okay uh, replayable activity to farm for loot. Um, I love that you smash the chest at the end. I think that's kind of fun. And that aside, I do think that this is significantly better than Season of the Hunt. I do not think this activity is as nearly interesting as like the Menagerie, six-man matchmate activity. Bungie just saying, hopefully we can get back to that. But... This still is a nice activity, and I will happily grind this a good amount for a variety of different god roll weapons. Um, Europa got a new planetary destination way up here on Eventide Ruins, which is nice. That way you don't have to travel for ages just to get around. Um, nothing really changed in Gambit. They just changed the way the directors look. And the same thing with Crucible. Nothing really changed. They did change, however, the effect of Stasis uh, on you, where it doesn't take a primary. You take 50% less damage with primaries. And so a little small nerf and adjustment to stasis freezing feels really good. Um, hopefully we continue pushing in that direction and hopefully we continue to give Bungie the proper criticism they need to adjust stasis in a fair way where it doesn't quite uh, ruin it for PvE, but definitely makes it way more fun for PvP because it's definitely not fun getting frozen all the time, okay? I just don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want to get frozen. So that's overall everything that I really enjoy about that. Now we got to push up here to the next area. And we're going to talk about... Another, you know, way of farming for crazy good loot, you know, like what the hell, Bungie? Like you guys are doubling, double tripling down. There's so much different ways of getting good loot this season. You know, you've got these five different focused engrams here. So you can focus this one for legendary weapons found in several different activities. So I would assume this is open world legendary weapons uh, and then legendary armor, open world. And then this is both weapons and armor, but it's for season of the chosen specifically to narrow it down a little bit better. And then these are the ones you really want to go for. These ones are Season of Chosen Weapons, Season of Chosen Armor, and obviously you can only stack three Hammer Forges at this point in time. 
I imagine later on you maybe can upgrade it more or Bungie will change it so that you can stack more than just three hammer charges. Um, but these will get you some really nice loot here as well. So I really like this. This is a great way of farming for loot, bringing back the Prismatic Recaster and doing so with style is cool. And we've also got our buddy down here. I mean, look at the crow. Look at how cool he's looking. He's got like a little secret mask on. Does Zavala know who he is? I doubt it. I mean, the story behind the crow is so interesting. Bungie's been keeping this story going and I don't know, like, I don't, I wonder what's going to happen next for him. He's wearing some really sexy armor, you know, like, what the hell? How do I get this armor? A little bit jealous, not gonna lie. So, so that's the majority. That's the meat and potatoes of the season. And those aren't even all the weapons. We've got the 30 Axiom Pulse Rifle. This Eternal Blazing Scout Rifle is going to be, it has some really good rolls. It's amazing. This Brass Attacks has that new perk on it as well. Some really cool perks on it. Um, Far Future, this is a uh, Crucible Sniper you can get that has some good rolls. Uh, the Swarm, I haven't even seen that thing in the game yet. There's two rockets that are out. This one you get from Strikes. This one is actually not bad. Uh, and then the Trial Sword. There's a bunch, and an Adept Trial Sword. Like, what the hell? There's a bunch of crazy stuff in here. Um, along with that, there's still stuff that no one's even touched yet, which is these new exotic chess pieces. We've got one for the Titan, the Cuirass of the Falling Star, uh, the Om... Omnioculus? Om Omnicholas? I don't even know how to say that. And Mantle of Battle Harmony. I mean, that's really cool too. We got those three exotics. And there's also obviously the Text Mechanical Redacted Exotic. And like I said, the Drip Feed Method. Throughout, the se throughout this season, there will be new stuff coming out almost every week. Not every week, but almost every week. New things or newish things. And that's kind of exciting. So, so far, this has been like season of the loot, season of the weapons, which is what I like, which is what I've always desired is farming for God rolls. So this is going to be a really cool season for me and for this channel, because I'm going to make sure to give you every guide you could possibly ever want and give you all the data for what is the best weapon for what activity, etc., etc., etc. So I can't wait. Uh, I'm actually really excited to dive into this. This is a great weapon, a great season. If you like weapons, especially there's so many new weapons, lots of new stuff to grind. This might be the season for you. Obviously, if you're into other things like, you know, raids or certain activities or really hardcore PvP, maybe maybe not the best season for you right now because it's not really catered to that season. This is a season seemingly really focused on weaponry. So if that's for you, then get out and get to grinding. And uh, I'll see you out there on the battlefield, Guardians. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you enjoyed this video. That is my first impressions of day one, season of the Chosen. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.